former incels who finally had sex, what do you feel when looking back now? I suppose I was an incel from 23 to 27 after leaving the military. I was depressed, underweight, socially isolated. I never got fat or super into gaming as is stereotypical, just worked a lot, hung out with my dog, smoked way too much weed, and just sort of forgot how to interact with women. Which was probably for the best, most of my relationships prior to 23 were unhealthy at worst, meaningless at best. Ending that era of my life was a long struggle that took concerted effort towards trying to be more positive and social. One big event was buying and learning to ride a motorcycle at 27 sort of shocked me out of my routine, opened my eyes to the fact that life was not a downhill slide from the adrenaline filled days of 18 to 22, that new experiences were waiting to be had. Eventually I met a woman that I just couldn't bear to have the usual flirt until I awkwardly distanced myself experience with. I forced myself to not to my mind wonder when we talked. I powered through all anxiety to call and text her daily, I even eventually would do crazy stuff like get dressed up nice and go to dinner with her not something I could have ever seen myself doing at one point. So I'm married now, still have some issues, but very happy. I remember when I first found the incel community, it was actually a pretty helpful place. It was more of a support group for people who were unattractive, socially awkward, etc. There wasn't any of this nice guy give sex bullshit. Everyone knew why they were involuntarily celibate, and just wanted to vent frustrations and get support. It was really good for my confidence. Then the toxic masculinity started to creep in and took right over, as everyone knows. I fell on the insult line of being not unattractive, but personality wise, all I did was play video games. I didn't have anything interesting about my life, and so women just weren't interested in me, and I never put myself into situations to meet people. New job with great people. I started to do different things. Played hockey for the first time at 30. Joined the group for a couple of traveling tournaments where we got absolutely Vegas tie plastered for weekends in different cities. Job is very much a hangout and chat type job, security, so talking with the women on the team on the regular starts removing the air of mystique I had built around them. Got my motorcycle license, and did a solo trip across the states from Canada to the Mexican border, and back that same year. Started doing tough mutters buying a season pass and traveling to any of the ones I could drive to. Then I got Tinder and just started going on dates. Had a few good, few bad, and then met my wife. I used to be the creepy ass weirdo who, by the time I graduated, had asked every single girl out. I literally had no idea what I was doing wrong, I was practicing all the classic southern gentleman things that I was supposed to yet having no luck, think milady, but only slightly less cringy. It wasn't until I got to college and went on a period of self-discovery that I knew the error of my ways. The first, and most important, concept that I learned was that women aren't sex dispensaries that you deposit nice coins into and get puss puss in return. They have to choose you. I still kept doing nice things for girls because that's the way I was raised, but I removed my expectations for getting anything in return. The second concept was making myself attractive, and it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. A nice basic buzz cut suddenly turned my oily mop of hair into a clean, presentable style. Went clean shaven on facial hair too, because all I could grow was a piddly pubic hair look and ass beard. Got a benzoyl peroxide solution to start working on the acne. Marching band was my form of exercise to stay fit and avoid the freshman 15. It's amazing how the problems we create for ourselves can get in our own way. Oh God. High school me wore fedoras and believed my superior intellect and science-based social theories were too much for everyone and that I was really a James Bond type with my knowledge of various fields. Turns out I was gay as duck but so deep in the closet my zip code was in Narnia, not really that smart in anything but too ADHD to focus past basic knowledge of anything and in a desperate need of a new wardrobe. I never really considered myself an incel at the time, mostly because I'd never heard the phrase. But I was very incelly in high school, I was the type of person who would hold a door open and then wonder why girls weren't falling into my lap. Turns out high school me wasn't that attractive and nice isn't a personality. I fell very much into the Chad's and Stacy's frame of mind for a while. A lot of things changed really, but mostly I just grew up. It's a super childish view of things and just doesn't take into account that the people around you are well people. If someone held a door open for you, you wouldn't throw yourself at them. It's about the maturity in relationships. But seriously duck high school me. 
I think I was maybe just a late bloomer. I had lots of female friends and was a bit geeky, before it was cool. When I went to uni I realized that rejection wasn't as bad if I could laugh about it with my mates after. When I lost my V, it wasn't the big deal I thought it would be. Once that barrier was broken though, I really came into my own and never looked back. Never considered myself an incel just an ugly, socially inept, horny teenage boy who girls didn't like. Now I'm an ugly, socially inept adult with a personality and that seems to be working well so far. I didn't lose my V card until I was like 20, maybe 21, university was a blur. I used to, not hate women, but just wouldn't really bother with the pursuit because in my mind, I'd already summed up the result, rejection. I was also, like, super ducking thirsty which nobody ever wants and yeah it was a bad look all around. Eventually became depressed, worked through some things with hallucinogens, yada yada yada, and now here I am, a little wiser and a little less annoying a person. I had a span of self-induced loathing in my early 20s that had me in the same mindset as incels. Minus the whole urge to kill and harass, but I blamed women for them not wanting to talk to me. For rejecting me. I believe someone up above talked about maturity and who they were in high school. I, too, was a D-bag. Decent looking guy but shit person. Shallow is a perfect adjective for my high school self. That whole viewpoint or self-importance carried into my early 20s and it didn't work out well. It wasn't until I was 27 28 and started getting into philosophy while getting stoned off my ass because I was escaping my problems. Philosophy changed me. It made me self-reflect and force me to be honest with myself. To hold myself accountable and also to forgive myself for all the mistakes I have made and to realize I have the power to change slash improve myself. That's when my incel slash women blaming ended. I'm glad I survived that period of my life. I think a lot of what goes on is how relationships in our society are portrayed. Speaking for myself, a guy that grew up in the 90s, it always seemed that every movie the woman was the one needing saving and the way to a woman's heart was to be a gentleman. This whimsical fairy tale taught to us at an early age sets people up for false expectations of both roles in a relationship. There really is no teaching about how hard relationships are and that no relationship should be the reason you are happy. If I was taught that growing up maybe things would have been different for me. But that was a big personal problem for me. Trying to validate my happiness through a relationship. Left me wide open to get taken advantage of and pushed further into that toxic mindset. But, looking back I'm glad I went through it. I finally found the love I've always wanted and I couldn't be happier. My relationships feel more real now and that I have a new realization and perspective on my relationships. I definitely look at women a lot differently now and have made multiple reach outs to some classmates from high school to apologize for how much of a pig I was. Cunt is the perfect high school nickname for me. Not a dude, or an incel but I have intimate knowledge to the creation of one. So I dated this dude that was probably a bit autistic, no issue on the surface, I get that, his behaviors were bizarre. I was coming out of a highly abusive relationship, only other one I'd ever had, so I saw him as quirky rather than someone who clearly needed help. He wasn't good with women because he would get super focused on topics and use the same joke slash phrases over and over. Which didn't bother me, I'm pretty chill. Well we dated a couple years and his best friend's wife left him. The dude started going to MGTOW and shit. Telling my boyfriend things like virgins are the way to go and to get a woman young, like 18, we were in our 30s. Well my boyfriend listens to this and starts acting weirder. He tries to veto my clothing when we go out, tells me I'm less valuable since I've had kids, pulls a gun on me because I didn't listen, insists I quit my job so I can take care of him. And that's just a few. Of course, I'm unintentionally plotting my escape. I make friends outside the house. Ones that he follows me to without telling to make sure no dudes try anything with you, I meet another man. We become good friends. He's a cool guy and just lets me talk sometimes. The boyfriend decides I'm cheating, says we are going to have an open relationship. Okay cool. I duck this dude friend, he goes to a party but doesn't bring anyone home and no one wants to be around him too much because his incel shit. He finds out I ducked this guy and loses. His. Mind. He throws a fit breaks a bunch of my stuff, threatens to kill me and I flee to my new friend. He starts saying I was a cheating slut and he did nothing wrong. That he was devoted and took care of me etc. He still hasn't found anyone and is lonely and bitchy, 